Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for coming tonight. We do this annually. This is uh, kind of a bittersweet part. Uh, we get to celebrate some of our retirees, but we do have to you know, say a little bit of a goodbye. Uh, we only have two this year. That's the good news. The bad news is it's 40 years of combined service to Littleton that is going to be walking out that door for the final time in a couple of weeks. Uh, the first uh, retiree we have is Janice Hartford, our nurse. We asked Mrs. Kane to write up a little thing about both of our, our retirees. For Janice, she said, as the nurse of a pre-K through two school, one must possess an abundance of patience and magic ice. <laughs> Janice's ability to manage 453 students is a feat like no other. While many of her patients truly come to her with an injury or illness, many appear at Janice's door for the kind and nurturing relationships she creates with the students at Shaker Lane. Janice has been the Shaker Lane nurse for the past nine years and has been an instrumental part of the school community. She can always be counted on to support both the students and staff with her caring demeanor. An attribute of Janice that will be missed is a comical side to her that comes out at the most opportune time. <laughs> she can make you laugh even when the situation may need some serious attention. We will miss your smiling face, your sense of humor, and your caring nature as you leave your Shaker Lane family. We wish you all the best in health and happiness and hope you will visit us bringing one of your yummy lunches that we always fawn over. <laughs> best wishes. So I have a few comments I'd like to add to that. Uh, first, make them all laugh is a great strategy. At my house, my goal was to skip crying and go right to crafting, which is crying and laughing at the same time. But you obviously figured out that if they're laughing, they might forget that they're hurt or not feeling well and they'll move on to the next part of it. Um, obviously, Michelle's point about you know, our nurses taking care of all the students in a given building is a unique role that our staff has. And, you know, that work that you do sets them all up on a day-to-day -day basis so they can, you know, make it through each day, achieving at their highest level possible. So we appreciate that. My last question is, this magic ice, where can I get some? <laughs> <laughs> we like to call you up. We have a few gifts for you. For you. We have citations from the House of Representatives. Oh and the State Senate, it's legally gobbledygook, so I'm not really going to read it because it's boring, but it just acknowledges your contributions to Littleton, and we have a clock to mark your time that you spent here. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Can we get a couple photographs with uh, Superintendent Clenchy and I? Sure. You're, you get to come in. I said, said, said no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, I look like I'm standing in the hole because I'm so short. <laughs> <laughs> We'll take that as a call. That's a topic. <laughs> One, two, three. One more. Thank you. Thank you. pleasure working here. I mean, it's busy. It's very busy. <laughs> I'm never bored. And, uh, I'll miss. I'll miss everybody. I miss everybody very much. And uh, like I, I was telling Dr. Clinchy, I'm not going to miss the lice and the chicks. <laughs> I'm not going to miss the epipens, but I will miss. I will miss the people. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So our second retiree is Sandy Hill, who has been a teacher here for 36 years. And according to, to Mrs. Kane, it's not easy to sum up 36 years of service to truly appreciate and acknowledge all that Sandy Hill has done for the students of the Littleton community. She's a dedicated educator who goes beyond the school hours and a single school year a student is with her to connect with her students. Sandy's calm, supportive, and nurturing demeanor are qualities that define her as a teacher and the reason why students and parents adore her. Sandy has touched the lives of hundreds of students who still come back to see her, and she continues to have an impact on their lives as well. This year, Sandy was instrumental in coordinating an Eagle Scout project with a former student who now attends Littleton High School. This is just one example of Sandy's continued dedication to her students beyond the time she is with them. Sandy, you will be sorely missed by students and staff across the Littleton schools, but we wish you all the best and health and happiness as you begin your retirement. We hope to see you around Shaker Lane to hear the wonderful stories of what it is like on the other side. Best wishes. I think we can all agree that 36 years is a ridiculous number. I mean, most of us, even at some of our advanced age, can't claim 36 years having done any one single thing. So it's a tremendous achievement. 
the impact is, I did a little bit of math, I would say conservatively 700 students. And you know, coming <laughs> and then coming out from this building, they the impact we have traverses up through the other buildings. I mean, you're going to have like another eight or nine years of impact, even without being here, because the students you had are, are matriculating through the rest of the system. So that's that's a significant impact, and we appreciate all the work you've done. We also have the same citations and a clock. Well, I wasn't really expecting to speak, but I'll try. First, I want to thank everyone for coming, um, especially my students, who I kind of short notice asked the families if they could attend. And one little guy in particular, not sure if he's still here, but it's his birthday today. And he told me this morning that his dad asked him if he wanted to go to dinner or go to my party. And he chose me. Wow. And that just says a lot to me. That's I look around and see a lot of my former students. I want to thank you as well for coming. Um, you guys mean the world to me. I'm going to miss this building. I've been coming here since I was six years old. Oh, wow. and, um, as I drove down the last couple of weeks. I just, I can't believe I'm leaving. I know it's the right thing. I want to thank my family and my Brian, who I wasn't expecting to come, but um, it's been a great ride, and I look forward to coming back and finding out what everybody's doing, and I'll let you know what I'm doing. So, um, thank you. <laughs> That ends the formal part of it, but please, let's keep it and celebrate it.